So the field that we're in right now is on quite a steep slope and it's very free draining. Um, the soils are quite thin and so it, it, the soil doesn't really retain a lot of moisture or nutrients and it was quite noticeable because the grass growth is quite stunted. Um, the heat and, and dry periods would really affect it. There's a lot of moss in here. And there was a fair bit of species diversity, but we were very limited as to how long we could graze it for because there just wasn't a lot of availability of fodder for the cattle. So we needed their impact, but equally we couldn't hold them here for very long. So last winter we started bale grazing. So we put a bale out without a ring feeder um, and then we'd let them at it and, and they would just dismantle it and eat it over the course of about three days and there'll be a lot of dung, there'll be a lot of urine all around the bale um, and by the time they'd finished uh, there'd be a mat of, of hay that you know they weren't really willing to eat anymore um, and it'd be uh, probably about that thick and um, we just left it to do its thing and it broke down it's, it's, you can see residue of it right here there's a bit, uh, that's all, all hay from last winter but what we saw this summer is the response of the vegetation in here and we've just ended up with really lush, fast growing, healthy grass and loads of different species of, of flowers uh, and plants. So we have things like um, vetches coming up here, um, there's white clover, there is red clover, I can't quite see any right now. And then we have um, bird's food trefoil, the yellow right there, and plantain. So that's the flower. You can actually see leaf that's been browsed by the, the cattle. So they do actually eat the plantain as well. There are speed wells. There's sorrel. Eyebright up here. And what we're noticing as well is just that the, the density of everything has just increased. And so we're not seeing a lot of moss. We're not seeing much in the way of bare soil between the roots. Um, and so this obviously is now retaining, it, there's a lot more biomass. There's a lot more organic matter thanks to the, the, um, the hay breaking down. And um, so it's obviously retaining nutrients and water better. And if we just keep doing that, this field will look completely different whilst retaining a lot of the biodiversity that we want. And how long do you think it takes to see the difference? Well, so this is just the difference from the winter or compared to last year, or do you think it takes several years to really see the impact? I think, well, we're seeing a very immediate impact in just the one winter and grazing season so this bale would have been here last February or January and it's you know it's taken a few months in spring to break down but we're in August now and this is what we're seeing so it's quite an immediate impact which of course if one repeated that it would just it would just amplify then.